China on Wednesday sent a new Earth observation satellite into space from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. The Gaofen 1205 satellite was launched at 7.45 a.m., Beijing time, aboard a Long March 4C carrier rocket and entered the planned orbit successfully. It will be used in a variety of fields including land surveys, urban planning, road network design, crop yield estimation and disaster relief. The launch marked the 540th flight mission of the Long March Carrier Rocket Series. China conducted its Joint Sword 2024B military exercise on Monday near Taiwan, sparking fresh tensions in the region. The drills have drawn strong criticism from both Taiwan and its international allies. Jeff Liu, spokesperson for Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, condemned the military maneuvers. China's actions once again challenge the rules-based international order and seriously undermine regional peace and stability, he said during a briefing on Tuesday. Su Tsuyun, an analyst from Taiwan's Institute for National Defense and Security, weighed in on the implications of China's latest actions. The Beijing government's intimidation has always been 70% political and 30% military action, Su said. China's two joint sword AB exercises are not solely focused on Taiwan. They also serve as a statement to democratic countries, particularly the United States and Japan. Su added that he believed China's military ambitions go beyond its long-standing aim of unifying Taiwan with the mainland. The real strategic objective, he argued, is for China to transition from a land-based power to a maritime one. The Chinese Navy has changed from Greenwater Navy Navy to Blue Water Navy, and Taiwan is in an important location. All China wants is to control the oceans adjacent to it, Su explained. As regional tensions rise, Taiwan's government continues to build its military defenses and solidify ties with international partners, particularly the United States and Japan, in the face of China's escalating military posturing. Taiwan在台湾周边展开军事演习，再次挑战以规则为基础的国际秩序，严重破坏区域和平稳定，外交部予以强烈谴责。北京向来它都是所谓的七分政治三分军事，好，所以这一次所谓呃联合利剑两次逼的呃这个军演，在我的观察，它是在做一个政治讯号的一个 message。那针对不只是台湾，而是包括像主持人讲是针对美国、日本这些民主国家。
，事实上，中国它会呃这样子的，就是扩张它军力，并不是所谓台湾的独立或是统一问题。哦，真正核心是北京要从一个 land power 变成 sea power， 所以它海军从 blue 呃 water navy 变成。啊 ，Blue Water Navy 就走向远水海军，那台湾那是最重要的一个位置，所以他是要掌握海洋，控制海洋。走对的路，选对的人，走对的路。谢谢我们媒体朋友的来，我们的网。在赖清德未来四年或八年的这个任期之内，北京一定会在呃，就是 p r 变成北京是在挑衅。好，那台湾真的，我想，呃，最重要的就是只有一个 more priority， 就是你的防卫力量，它 power 反而是最重要的